listening to me. And uh, we are going to have a solo, amen, by Sister Thomas. Amen. So give the choir a great big hand. Amen. Let's look like Jesus this morning. Amen. Amen.
it's not going to use it for bad things, but we can use it for good things. First Corinthians uh, 1 and 18, you have it? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I ask you all to pray for me this morning. I need your prayers. I need your, I need your strength. Amen. Strength. Pray for me. To God for strengthening somebody in mind. Amen. Praise the Lord that I may be able to say something that will help somebody this day. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. First Corinthians 1 and 18. For the preaching of the cross to them that perish foolishness. But unto us that are saved, it is the power of God. Oh, yes. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise. I will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudence. Where is the wise? Where is the spy? Where is the disputer of this world? Has not God made foolishness the wisdom of this world? For out of that in wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the it, it pleased God by the, the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Come on. But the Jews require a sign, and the Greeks seek out a wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified <laughs> unto the Jews a stumbling block, unto the Greeks foolishness. Jesus. But unto them that are called both Jews and Greeks, yeah. Christ the power of God Hallelujah. and the wisdom of God. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, uh -huh. and the weakness of God is stronger than men. All right. But you see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh not many mighty, not many noble are called. But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. God has chosen the weak things to confound the, the, the things that which are mighty. The base things of the world has God chosen, and the things which are despised has God chosen. Yea, things which are not to bring to all things that are. That no flesh, no flesh should glory in his presence. Come on now. Amen. One thing about God, he can't stand pride. He can't stand, he can't stand flesh glorying flesh in man, his man, presence. Man, man. He cannot stand a man, man being holy and thinking he's so much. Come on, oh, praise man. God. He hates that. Amen. That's, that's one of the seven worst sins that God hates is a spirit of pride. Amen. When they're walking with the nose up in the air, water can almost fall in the nose right. so high. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Praise God. But God. Amen. He 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 had respect under the humble. Amen. Amen. He he had respect to those things that are weak. Yes. Hallelujah. Sometimes I go too strong for the Lord. Amen. Amen. They, they think That's they're strong true. anyway. They, they think they got everything together. Amen. They can't no man tell them nothing. They can't no God tell them nothing. No, they don't need God, but they got him well. Amen. Amen. But praise God. Hallelujah. We just want to talk about today. The Amen. I will serve you on the day is the foolishness of God. Oh. I said, the foolishness of God. Somebody said, like, oh, I ain't calling y'all the Bible said. Amen. Right, amen. Did we just get through reading that? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. It said, the Bible said that, that the foolishness of God is wiser than men. Amen. amen. Even God's foolishness is wiser than amen. us. Amen. And some of us, well, some, we think we're so smart. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We think we got it all together. Mm -hmm. Amen. This country, uh -oh. they think they got, they got all this technology and all these bombs and all these missiles they can can, can they can program they can go right to your door and they can do all kind of things they can spy they can do this and that amen praise god but without god without god amen and to god all of that is just foolishness that's right amen he laughs at the wisdom of man Hallelujah. amen it's all foolishness <laughs> amen praise god so first of all we're going to talk about uh, the foolishness of man first. Amen? Right. Man is foolish. Amen? Right. But God, amen, his foolishness is wise. Amen. His foolishness is stronger than our, than our wisdom that could ever be. Praise God. The things that God does sometimes is foolishness unto us. Something God tells us to do sometimes is foolishness unto us. Mm -hmm. When God tells you to pay your tithes, when you don't even have enough money to pay your rent, yeah. that's foolishness unto you. Amen? But it's wisdom. It's God's wisdom, amen. It's God's way to bless you, amen. Mm -hmm. To meet your need, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. First of all, we're talking about the foolishness of man. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Romans 1 and 21 says, because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. Neither were they thankful, but became vain in their imaginations. And their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. Hallelujah. 
Amen. Praise God. That's the way that our country is going today. Amen. Amen. Was it for the time they feared the Lord? Was the time they reverenced God? Was the time they would have prayer in the schools? Oh, but now they got their own way to raise the children. They got their own way to do things. Amen. They don't want to have the, the, the Ten Commandments in the church, I mean, in, in, in the schoolhouse. They don't want the Ten Commandments in the courthouse. Not at all. Amen. They have become so wise in their own ways. Amen. Professing themselves to be wise, they have become fools. Yeah. Amen. Anytime you think you can make it without God, you are a fool. Amen. The, Bible the fool, the Bible says, has said in his heart that there is no God. Yeah. All right. Not all the time are they saying it with their mouth. They say, oh yeah, I believe in it. But in their heart, they say they don't, they don't believe in God because they live without God. They, they don't try to please the Lord. Amen. They don't strive to, to give God reverence. Yeah. Amen. To serve and to get to know him. Amen. Amen. Praise God. The, the foolishness of man. Amen. Praise God. Amen. You are foolish if you don't want to live for the Lord. Yeah. Amen. There was a man that, that, God, that God himself called a fool. Amen. God called this man a fool because why? He was just taking care of his body, taking care of his, his physical needs. Yeah. He, he was making sure he had a home with a roof over his head and food in the, in, in the cupboard and, 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 and money in the bank. And, and praise God, all he was caring about was taking care of his body. He even made sure he had a funeral plan that was out of his world. Amen. He wanted to make sure he was put away real good. But he didn't do nothing for his soul. The oh, Lord. And then one, one day after he done all, got all his work and laid up all his money and was just where he wanted to be. He was ready to retire. Amen. You know, some folks need to be ready to retire. And sometimes before they can even retire, they die. I, amen. Praise God. You can die and go off and leave all of it. Amen. They have a big old, have a big nest uh, laid up. Amen. A good, a, a good living after they come off their jobs and they were anticipating retiring just so they can just kick back and eat, drink, and be merry. Amen. But they haven't taken out time to do anything for their soul. Amen. Praise God. That's a foolish man. Amen. Hallelujah. The wise men, you know, amen, during the time when Christ was born, the wise men came from the east to, 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 to see the king, the yeah. baby king that was born, uh, God in the flesh. They knew, amen, and they was looking and anticipating to see the king of glory. Yeah. They had enough sense to bring in some gifts, some gold, and some, amen, some precious gifts. They was, amen, wise, amen, and they wanted, amen, to see the king, amen, praise God, but the, but the people of God that should have been looking for the king to come, they didn't even have no idea that the Lord was, was about to be born, hallelujah, amen, praise God, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, but God, amen, amen, touch people and give them wisdom enough to give their hearts to God. God's the one that gave us the wisdom enough to say yes to God, hallelujah, glory to God. The foolishness of man. So that man is so is so wise, amen, and smart that he can't even serve the Lord. He can't see himself bending his knee to God. He can't see himself, amen, taking everything to God in prayer. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. But no matter how smart man is, it is all foolishness with God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. You know, and sometimes we're so smart. And, and we just keep bumping our heads against the wall. Even us, sometimes we be trying to do something, amen, and not acknowledging God, not asking God to help us. Amen. And, and bumping our head against the wall, trying to figure out how to do it. Amen. And amen, if you stop to take out time to pray, amen, amen then it, oh, here it is. Hallelujah. You know, if, but if you had prayed at first, Amen. You would have saved yourself a lot of sorrow. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. They profess, profess themselves to be wise, but they became fools. Amen. They once walked with God. Some folks have once walked with God, but now they don't believe in the, in the resurrection anymore. They don't believe in the blood. Hallelujah. They don't believe that Jesus actually rose from the dead. Isn't that sad? Amen. The foolishness of man. Hallelujah. They got so much education and all these technologies and they lean on that. Amen. But man is weak without God. Is that right? Amen. Praise God. So we're going to talk about the foolishness of God. Amen. Let's go back to that first Corinthians 1 and 18. For the preaching of the cross to them that perish is foolishness. Amen. 
Praise God. But unto us that are saved, it is the power of God. Hallelujah. And it pleased God. Hallelujah. But the Bible said in that 21st verse, it pleased God by the fullness of preaching to save them that believe. Hallelujah. Amen. You mean to tell me all I got to do is just hear a message and my life can be changed? You mean to tell me all I got to do is hear the word of the Lord and believe on Jesus Christ and I can become a new creature in Christ Jesus? You mean to tell me, amen, praise God, that all I have to do is have faith in the word and the Lord will heal my body? Hallelujah. You mean to tell me that God still a healer? I want you to know he's still a healer. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching. He know man was going to think it was foolish. Amen. God is always opposite to man. Amen. Men, they want to go, they want to get up, they want to be high, so they exalt themselves. Amen. They, they build their own castles, they build their own sin. Amen. Praise God, build it up. Amen. Praise God, exalting themselves. Amen. But God, His way, if you want to go be exalted, humble yourself. Amen. You, the way up is down with the Lord. Amen. Praise God, it's different. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching that. To save them that believe. You know, the preacher came to the house, he began to preach to us that foolish message that, that some will say is foolish. Mm -hmm. They say, if you believe in Jesus Christ, if you believe, you, you, you're just weak minded. You, you know, you don't have to depend on nothing outside of you. So, somebody told me that I'll try to witness to them. They told me, you don't have to depend on nothing outside of you. I don't depend on anything outside of me. Everything I need is in me. I'm, in other words, I'm God. That's what he's saying. Amen. Praise God. But the devil is a liar. Yes, yes. If I'm God, I'm showing up love. This world is too. <laughs> oh, I'm showing up laws. Amen. Praise God. But you know, the word of God is foolishness to the world. It was foolishness to us before we got saved. We just wonder why people want to go to church on, on Halloween night. We want to be out partying or going trick or treating, what we going to call it. Amen. Praise God. I just, I just thought that was very strange. Hallelujah. Before I got saved, I thought that was, why would you want to go to church on this night, but What is, I mean, I'm going to be out having a good time. Hallelujah. But that's the way of the world. Hallelujah. The, the way of God is foolishness to them. Amen. The 25th verse says, because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. Hallelujah. Amen. So, and I was just thinking about how Jesus Amen. When he was preaching, praise God, and the multitudes, the multitudes of people came. Look, over 5,000 men came. And, uh, amen. And uh, he began to speak to Philip. He began to tell Philip, how much would it cost to, to buy bread to feed all these people? <laughs> Philip began to think in his mind, began to calculate. Philip said, if we had a whole year's wages, he couldn't buy enough to feed all these folks. Amen. Amen. He was asking Philip, but not that he needed Philip's help. Because he already knew what he was going to do. I want you to know the Lord already knows what he's going to do about your situation. Amen. It may seem foolish to you. It may seem like, oh, Lord, what, what, what is going on here? Amen. But the Lord, amen, spoke to them and told the disciples, said, now y'all give them something to eat. Then one of them back said, how can we, Lord? There are so many out there. Well, you know, it was 5,000 men. I can count the women and children. If I was like 15,000, my dad got the women and kids and amen. Praise the Lord. 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 But, the, but then one of the disciples just trying to joke around. You know, he just joking around. Like, oh, here's a kid. He got he got five biscuits and two fishes. He, oh, but what are these among so many? Oh, amen. Right. <laughs> they just knew that the Lord wasn't going to be able to do that. You know, it's amen. God, my and the Lord said, bring it to me. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 It looks like it's, it don't matter what it looks like. 
Amen. It looked like, amen, there was no way he could feed the 5,000. Amen. But Jesus told him to, 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 to go ahead on. And he just prayed and blessed the food and multiplied it. Hallelujah. Well, you know, God can multiply what you have. Amen. If you would be willing and obedient to God, he'll take what you got left and multiply it. Hallelujah. But whoa, we don't want to trust the Lord. We want to go by what we see. Amen. So, amen. They was just flabbergasted. And when Jesus raised that bread and blessed that bread and said, now give it to the people. And, 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 and all that food began to multiply the baskets. I, and I didn't wonder. I just wonder, where did those 12 baskets come from? <laughs> the baskets that the bread was in, I think he made that too. He was just one of those things they had. But Girl, one of them 12 baskets, but they picked up 12 baskets of food after everybody ate. All, over 14,000 people probably ate. Even, even if it was 50 people, that would be a miracle. Amen. <laughs> But the foolishness of God. Yes, right. He just, he just tested him. Philip. <laughs> How much would it cost, Philip? Oh, oh man, it would cost a lot. Yeah. And then, and then the other, well, we have this, 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 but what are they among so many? <laughs> you know Jesus wasn't doing something bad. But what is this? And Jesus said, bring it to me. That's all I need. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm going to be all about these. That's a little bit of your faith, amen? That's right. Just a little bit, amen? Just a little bit. When he say, it don't take a whole lot. Just use the little you got. Yes. Amen. Look no around to my I don't have any faith. Amen. Then I was thinking about also Peter. They was uh Peter was out walking around. Jesus was somewhere praying, I believe, maybe. Amen. And Peter and they said, Where's your tax money at? Where's your master tax? He ain't paid his tax. And uh, Peter, he went to Jesus. Amen. And before Jesus. Before, before Peter could even say a word, Jesus said, hey Amen, should, should we pay our taxes? <laughs> and he said, Peter, go fishing. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was, Peter, let me go fishing. Okay. Then he said, and the first fish you catch, uh -huh. look in his mouth. Uh -huh. There's enough money in there to pay you and our taxes. Your tax and mine. Go, and go pay your tax and mine. He do what he want to. Have we ever heard of money in a fish mouth? Have, we, have anybody ever found some what's money in a good fish? Have you ever found any fish in a any money in a fish? Not yet. Not even in the And not even in his belly. You know, you walk in, you know they swallow up, but you don't let them open and some money up in that? Never. Woo, glory to God. He got something. Amen. Praise God. Then he did something else. Jonah got the will of God. And God had to deal with it. But man, they say there's no such thing. A whale cannot right. swallow a man. Right. So that's so they say the Bible is not true because that is not because that can the Bible said God prepared a, a fish. Yeah, all right. If God, if God, the same God that made the whale can make a special fish. All right. Amen. 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 He can make a submarine fish. All right. Amen. 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 He did make a submarine fish. Let him say why. Amen. That was a miracle. Tell something. Amen. Praise God. See, they think we're crazy because we believe that. Do y'all? Amen. They think you crazy. There's something going on on the that you believe that, that, that John was swallowed by a big old fish or a whale. Amen. But God did that. Amen. <clears throat> then I was thinking about, you know, okay, when Moses and them, they was on their way. Out of, God had gave him a great deliverance, miracle after miracle after miracle. Amen. Plagues after plague. And he got to now go forward, march on out of here. And, and God was a guy. God was telling Moses what to do. And Moses had enough yes. faith to believe God, whatever he said, whether it made sense or not. He didn't try to figure out with his mind what God was doing. He, God said, go this way. And I'm sure some of them that were behind him said, Moses, Moses, why are we going this way? He said, that's what the Lord told me to do. All right. The Lord told me to go this way. Just, just, just going toward the Red Sea. And look at all those mountains on this side. And mountain on this. Why, why don't we go the way of the wilderness? Where we can just be on dry ground. Why are we going this way? And Moses said, because God told me. I saw, I saw Moses was going by what God told me. Moses didn't know how he was going to get across that Red Sea. He didn't know what, what God was going to do. 
Amen. Praise God. But it was foolishness to, to all of those that was was that was following him. To those that 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 that, that knew the way, knew that that was going toward the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. How are we going to cross it when we get there? Amen. Praise God. But He said, "This is the way the Lord has guided me." Amen. Amen. God may be guiding your life in a way that you see, Lord, what are you doing? What's going on, Lord? <laughs> Hallelujah. Sometimes you don't pray and pray and even ask God to do something, and God is working it out, but, but he's doing something strange to you. There's something strange going on. Amen. I don't know. What, why are you, you leading me this way, Lord? Yes. That's why God said, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Amen. And lean not to your own understanding. Amen. Praise God. So they begin to go toward the Red Sea. Amen. Here come Pharaoh. God know Pharaoh was coming. God was going to get some more glory. Oh, yeah. Sometimes God wait to bless us because he wants to get some more glory out of what he's going to do. When he do it, everybody going to know God did it. Yes. He's going to get all the glory out of it. Amen. And God want to be glorified. That's right. He wanted to be glorified in destroying the army of Pharaoh. Yes. He know his people... And the children of Israel, there was no way they could be a match for the for the, the great army of Pharaoh in Egypt, amen. And they was coming down there, amen. He didn't know he was fighting against the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. And then God said, then the people thought of complaining. Well, because there was no graves in, in Egypt, now, now you brought us out here to die, Moses. Did you bring us out here to die? I know they was complaining and crying and acting crazy. Moses said, you know what? Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Yeah. Sometimes you just need to stand still and see what God's going to do. Man. Sometimes you just need to wait on God to see what he's going to do. See how he's going to work it out. Amen. Praise God. God knows better than you. He knows better than me. God knows how to work it out. <laughs> and God said, go ahead, all. And then oh, okay. Moses, he thought, he, the folks just complained so much to Moses. Moses thought, Got on the knees, start crying to God. And God said, What you crying out to me, God? What you got in your hand? What you got in your hand? Yeah. Hallelujah. What you got in your hand? Yeah. Hallelujah. That rod, amen. Yeah. What we got in our hand? We got the word of God with us. Right, we got man. the power of God with us. Oh, yeah. Woo, glory to God. What you got in your hand? Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Use what you got. Yes. Glory <laughs> to God. Stretch out that rod. And he stretched out that rod, and you know what? Every, that must have been a beautiful sight. Well, they were on each side. <laughs> and right in the middle was dry ground. Dry ground. And they walked across and did not get their foot mud muddy. <laughs> Amen. They didn't get gummy. They didn't, they didn't, come up, they didn't have to get over there and scrape the mud off their shoes. There wasn't no mud on their shoes. Thank you, Jesus. Who, who, who was there? Come on now. Amen. 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 Somebody said that was a foolish direction. That was foolish for. Mm. What kind of captain is he? He leading us back this. But God wanted to do something. Yeah. And I want you to know God wanted to do something in your life. Yeah. He wanted to do something in your life so my grandmas to your, your relatives yeah. must acknowledge and say, the Lord is with us. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. God know how to turn our captivity so much so until, until we're going to be laughing and rejoicing. And everybody gonna be that know us and know what we've been going through, know what you've been going through, yeah. is gonna laugh and rejoice with you, cause they gonna know that the Lord has blessed you yeah. and brought you this far. Yeah. So the weakness of man, the weakness of man, <clears throat> one thing man can't do, man can't save himself. No, Amen. You can't pray long enough to be saved. You can't fast long enough to earn salvation. Amen. You can't do enough good works to have salvation. It's, it's a gift of God. We cannot save ourselves. Amen. If you are saved, it's the grace of God, the mercy. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, without me, you can do nothing. Amen. Man can't provide for himself. Amen. Man can't feed himself. If God didn't feed us, we would all be starving right, right now. Right. All America. That means Donald Trump, too. He ain't eat no money. Hallelujah. If it ain't no food, money will be no good. He feeds everybody. If the files are there, he feeds us all. Amen. And without him, it wouldn't be no rain to, to it, okay, and man said, well, we got seeds, we can plant. You can even plant them seeds, but if God don't bless them to grow, right. they ain't going to grow. Amen. 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 If God said don't grow seed, that's it. Amen. 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 
Like I said, thank you so smart with all this technology. All God got to do is turn the electricity off. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Well, Amen. I do without electricity. <laughs> what would your phone be without? Amen. 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 Turn the internet. He can, he can do all that. Turn all that stuff off. Yes. Turn the water off in heaven. Don't no let it rain. Amen. 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 We be, oh, we be, oh, America's so small. Oh, we so small. Amen. We can't go one day without our internet. Can't go one day without our cell phone. <laughs> Hallelujah, we are spoiled. Oh, we thought we was going through a trial when Bluebell went out. That's right, that's right. That's right. Come on now. Oh, God. Lord, have mercy. We are so spoiled, I tell you. It won't take much to make us feel like we in great tribulation. My God, the weakness of man. We are totally dependent on God for everything. God, all you got to do is just cut off all these, those things. Cut the air off. We all be dead in just a matter of minutes. God. Everybody in the world be dead in a matter of That's minutes. Right. But he is so gracious. Yeah. Not willing that he should perish. Mm -hmm. And I think about the weakness of God. The mouth of the weakness of God is stronger than man. All the weakness of God, I can think of that, that his love for us. He weak behind man. He made man because yeah. he wanted man. He made you and I because he wants you. He loves you. He's weak behind you. you. He loves you. He gave his son to die for you. That's how weak he is behind. He paid a price for your salvation. Right. Amen, amen. Amen. Praise us on the weakness God has is his love for us. His grace. When we started crying out to God, even Israel, they backslid them many a time. Serve other gods, turn their backs on God all the way. And then when they got in trouble, they began to moan and groan and cry and weep. And God couldn't stand it. He had to do something about it. Though they had turned their backs on him many times. Amen. That's the only weakness God has. His love for you. His concern for you. He loves you. Grace. Amen. Even though Ahab, one of the most wickedest kings that ever lived. Amen. When he got in trouble, yes. he bowed down and prayed and called on God. And God said, he, look at Ahab. He has humbled himself. And God said, I won't let that happen in his day. Because he humbled himself. His love is his weakness. Amen? Praise God. He loves you. Amen? With an everlasting love, and he'll never stop loving you. That's the weakness of God. The weakness of man. Amen? Praise God. Is our strength. We thank you, yeah. But we are weak in his sight. Amen? Amen? But thank God. Jesus loves us. God loves us. Let's all stand on our feet. Amen? I want you to be in care of today, fellas. God is real. No matter who tells you God is not real. Yes. No matter how it seems that God is not working on your behalf. Oh God. I want you to know God is working on your behalf. Thank you, Lord. God is making a way somehow for you. He wants to make a way for you. If you are allowing him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Amen. Amen. If you're a wise person, you know what? You, you will serve the Lord. You were serving with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, day and night, night and day. Amen. Be in the house of God every time the door is open. If, if the door ain't open, you've got to find the way else you can go to worship him. Amen. Amen. God is a good God. Yes. And he is worthy of our praise in our time. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. He's worthy of that time. That's, time, is, time is something. It's precious. Yes. And he's worthy of all that. He was of all that you could possibly do. Amen. God loves you today. That's what we're going to stop on that note right there. That his weakness is his love for you. Like the song said, his love for me is just like pure gold. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Thank God that our God is real. Ooh. Do y'all believe in him? Amen. Amen. Do you have him in your life? Amen. Amen. Do you want him in your life? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Jesus. If there anybody need anything from the Lord, you need to be healed. You need to be just a burden lifted off your shoulder encouraged or whatever it is. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. God is here to meet that need. Hallelujah. Is there anyone else that need anything from the Lord? Anybody want to just give their heart to the Lord? You're tired of your sins? Tired of walking in sin? And you just want to say, Lord, this is it. I'm, I'm giving my life to you once and all and I ain't going to ever turn back. Amen. This is the time to do it. Amen. Praise the Lord.